Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about proxies in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're trying to edit something larger than a 1080p video file, something like a 4K, 6K, or even 8K video file, and find your computer just can't edit that size, then this video is for you. I've known about proxy files for a while now, but I've always found creating proxies to be a bit confusing based on the videos that I've seen. So I wanted to try to make a very quick and to the point video on how to do this. So let's quickly jump into it and say uh, a proxy file in short is basically a low resolution video file that can take the place of a larger resolution video file in your timeline. So how do we do this? It's very easy. I'm going to dummy this down so we can just get right into it. Bring your higher resolution video clip into Premiere Pro, highlight those clips that you want to have proxies created for, then choose one or multiple files. It doesn't matter. Then right click, go to proxy and create proxies. Now, a dialog box is going to come up called Create Proxies. The only thing you need to change here is under Format, the dropdown. The default's probably H.264, and you'll want to change that to QuickTime. Next, under the Preset dropdown, I'm going to recommend that you select either ProRes Low, ProRes Medium, or ProRes High. Personally, I prefer Medium. Destination, select Next to Original Media in proxy folder and go ahead and hit OK. Adobe Media Co Encoder is going to open up and it will start creating your proxy files automatically. And you'll find all your new proxy files in the folder called proxy right next to your original files once they're created. Now, once your proxy files are created, you can close Adobe Media Encoder. You don't need it. Go ahead and close it. Go back to Adobe Premiere Pro and you can toggle prox proxies on and off by pressing the toggle proxies icon shown here. And if you don't have that icon, just hit the plus sign on the right side here and drop it into the blue area. Now you'll have that option. When you click the toggle proxies icon and it turns blue, it means that your proxies are enabled. And when it's not blue, it means your proxies are disabled. Now with the toggle proxies icon blue in color, which means it's enabled, you'll notice how easily I can now scrub through the 5k footage again, because it's using the lower resolution file. And when I disable the proxies, which is now using the full size 5K file, I can't scrub through the footage at all. It just hangs. Again, these smaller video resolutions just make editing on the timeline so much easier and so uh, much less time consuming. Now, it doesn't matter if your proxies are enabled or disabled. When you export your final video to YouTube or whatever social media platform you're using, the export is always going to be the original higher resolution file and not the proxy file. So again, you don't need to worry whether the feature's on or off. You'll always be using the higher quality export file. The full 5K file will be the one that's being exported to your final project. Now, that being said, there is one exception to this rule. After doing a little bit of digging, it's come to my attention that warp stabilization is the exception to this rule according to Adobe support. Warp stabiliz stabilization is among the special case analysis uh, effects that will display the full resolution ignoring toggle proxies. So in special cases, Premiere Pro always uses the full resolution video regardless of whether the toggle is enabled or disabled. And I wanted to put this video together because unless I see other you know, creators uh, using these settings, it's always unclear to me whether they're being used or not. But rest assured, if it's a larger size file, a lot of uh, other creators are out there using proxies to make sure that they can process their, their final videos. And again, we aren't all running the newest laptops and the best processors, CPUs with large amounts of RAM. So I think you're gonna notice a significant improvement in how long it takes to edit your uh, videos in your timeline by using this method, and you'll save yourself a ton of headache. So until next time, Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.